Japan's railway engineers have a long track record in developing high-speed trains. Shinkansen bullet trains first began crisscrossing the country nearly 50 years ago. The fastest bullet train in service reaches speeds of more than 300 kilometers per hour. Engineers are now conducting test runs of a new train. The L0 can travel at 500 kilometers per hour. NHK World's Kyoko Fujita reports. The L0 uses a technology developed in Japan to race over long distances at super fast speeds. It's called superconducting magnetic levitation. Officials have just opened a new track for test runs in central Japan. It's nearly 43 kilometers long. Commercial service isn't scheduled to begin until 2027. Once the train is up and running, it will take people from Tokyo to Nagoya in just 40 minutes, one hour less than a bullet train trip. I was impressed by the speed, and its quietness surprised me. The train will make it much easier to get around. I'm excited. The L0 will drastically change Japan's economy and society. This technology will help propel Japan ahead in the world. Engineers first began working on the train nearly half a century ago. They've kept at it ever since. In 2003, a prototype reached 581 kilometers per hour, a record that still stands. Special magnets hold the key to the train's speed. The L0 has superconducting electromagnets along the outside. They make it possible for the train to levitate and race along the track without losing altitude or speed. For this to happen, it's necessary to eliminate the magnet's electrical resistance. The train is equipped with an internal cooling system. It reduces the magnet's temperature to minus 269 degrees Celsius and results in zero resistance. Japan's railway technologies are among the most advanced in the world. Railroad executives and government officials hope to take Japan's expertise abroad by taking this maglev train to North America and other countries. Developers face several hurdles to making the Japanese train a global success. For one, engineers in countries such as Germany and France are working on high-speed trains of their own. The L0's creators will keep racing to stay ahead of the curve. Kyoko Fujita, NHK World, Yamanashi.